Welcome to writing repeating decimals as fractions. Repeating decimals are rational numbers, which by definition means that we can write them as a fraction. Now, a rational number is a number that can be written as the ratio of two integers, which is a fraction. So 0 0.3 repeating is a real number and it's rational. It is equivalent to one third. If you used a calculator, one divided by three would be 0.3333 and would continue on in your calculator screen for the whole length of the screen. We use the repeating bar above the three to show that it's 0 0.3 repeating. Today I'm going to show you how to algebraically turn any repeating decimal into a fraction. It's almost like a magic trick. So first step in this process is to let x equal the repeating decimal that you're trying to convert to a fraction. So I'm going to let x equal 0 0.3 repeating. Step two, we're going to write a second equation. We're going to find the number of digits that repeat in the decimal. If there's one digit, you multiply both sides by 10. If there's two dig digits, you multiply the both sides by 100. If three digits repeat, by 1,000. So for every digit that repeats, you add a zero. So in algebra, as long as you're fair and equal to both sides of an equation, you can do anything you want. So for this magic trick, we're going to multiply both sides by 10. So x times 10 is 10. 0 0.3 repeating multiplied by 10 will be 3.3 repeating. So every time you multiply by 10, you move the decimal point one space to the right. Step three, we're gonna subtract the first equation we wrote from the second equation and solve for x. So we basically wrote a system of equations. So here we have it, 10x equals 3.3 repeating, and I'm gonna subtract the original equation x equals 0 0.3 repeating. 10x minus x is 9x. 3.3 repeating subtract 0 0.3 repeating is 3. So the repeating digit is eliminated when we subtract. Next step is to divide both sides by 9. And you simplify. And you get x equals 1 third. So this is the proof. Often most people have memorized. At some point you memorize that 0.3 repeating is 1 third. So it's one of those common fractions that we use all the time, but that's not always the case. So let's try this one, 0 0.7 repeating. That's not a commonly seen fraction. We end up with one third for a lot of things in math, but 0 0.7 repeating isn't something you're used to seeing. So let's see what happens when we convert this to a fraction using the algebraic process I just showed you. If you'd like to try it on your own, go ahead and hit pause, come back and hit play when you're ready. So I'm going to let x equal 0 0.7 repeating. Then I'm going to write my second equation, multiplying both sides by 10 because one digit repeats. The 7 repeats. 10x will then equal 7.7 .7 repeating. I will now subtract the first equation from the second, giving me 9x equals 7. Divide both sides by 9. In this case, it's in simplest form. So now I'm left with x equals 7 ninths. So 0 0.7 repeating is equivalent to 7 ninths. Go ahead and check that on your calculator. 7 divided by 9. Pretty magical. Let's try one with two repeating digits. So in this case, we're going to let x equal the repeating decimal that we're trying to convert. Our second equation, we're going to multiply both sides of our first equation by 100 because two of the digits repeat. So when I multiply by 100, I have to move the decimal point two spaces to the right. So I move the whole repeating part of this decimal, 31, to the left of the decimal. Go ahead and subtract. Now we're going to have 99x. 100x minus x is 99x. 31.31 .31 repeating, subtract 31 repeating, point 31 repeating is 31. Divide both sides by 99, and x equals 31 99ths. Go ahead, try it on your calculator, 31 divided by 99. Again, 
I think it's pretty magical. All right, I'm going to ask you to pause. Try this one on your own. 0 0.352 repeating. So my hint will be, what will you multiply both sides by the second equation? Remember, you keep a add a zero for every repeating digit. Go ahead and hit pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. So I let x equal 0 0.352 repeating. I multiply both sides of my equation by 1,000 because three digits repeat. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So whatever digit you get to, you multiply by that. This is 352 thousandths. Multiply both sides by thousandths. Let's subtract. 1,000x minus x gives me 999x. And 352.352 repeating, subtracting the 0.352 repeating, gives me 352. Divide both sides by 999 and you get 352 999s. Again, check that on your calculator and see if your calculator, when you do 352 divided by 999, do you get this repeating decimal? So hopefully by now you've seen a pattern that won't force you to do all this algebra. So I'd like you to pause here and I'd like you to try these three on your own and come back and hit play to check your work. So ignore this negative sign and just keep it as part of your answer. That would be my hint. So your answer is going to be a negative fraction. So all you have to do is use the ideas that we used here to do 0 0.8 repeating and make your answer negative. Well, over here we have a 1. We didn't practice a 1 during our lesson today, but you know that it's going to be 1 and a fraction. So keep the 1 out of the whole algebra magic and just find out what 0 0.84 repeating is and add that fraction to your whole number one. Go ahead and hit pause and see how you do. Welcome back. So on the first one, you should have gotten negative 8 ninths. So you're going to let, um, got my pen, you're going to have 10x equals 8.8 .8 repeating, subtracting x equals 0 0.8 repeating, 9x equals 8, divide both sides by 9, and you get to keep, go back and add the negative sign, so negative 8 ninths. Up here you're going to have 100, x equals, uh, oops, sorry, 25.25 .25 repeating, subtract x, that equals 0 0.25 repeating, which will give you 99x equals 25. Dividing both sides by 9, 99. And you get 25 99s. So for here, I'm going to grab my pen. I'm going to make myself a note that I need the 1 there. I'm going to let x equal the 80 four hundredths repeating, it's 84 hundredths, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 and get 84.84 repeating. I subtract, I get 99x equals 84, divide both sides by 99, and don't forget the 1, and that one simplifies. Both 84 and 99 are divisible by 3, so you simplify, you get 128. 30 thirds. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.